I know you hate it, but I don't. I, I don't hate it. Don't don't <laughs> don't. Stop. I know. I'm just kidding. But you have you you did it and you didn't like it, right? Yeah. Well, I would say I tried it and I realized it wasn't for me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Like me or we with service recommendation, we tried it and we didn't like it. So we said if we we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it with the HMO because that's more sustainable. But I mean, you as well. You have an essay, and you you say it's for you. Okay, it's it's quite it's quite passive because you have a totally totally passive because you have a management agent. So it's the same for us because we we teamed up uh, with uh, you know them a friend of us Phil and them. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they manage it and we put in the money and then we just split the profit. So so it's passive from our end as well. Nice. So why don't why didn't you like it from your end? So or your cup of tea. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think for me, I thought like I just and this is going back to one of our other videos, I didn't know what my end goal was. I thought, right, I need passive cash flow now to quit my job. Yeah. But what I realized was it wasn't passive as rent to rent. You are the managing agent of a HMO. So that's not passive at all. I also realized that I don't need, a, a, I didn't need passive cash flow. What I needed was to carry on working in my like business or my contract that I had that I enjoyed, make money, have that saved to support me for the next 12 months and then do buy to lets because what I wanted was something passive um, and I'm happy to wait with buy to lets and I'm happy for that kind of you know, slow process I suppose because yeah. when it comes to the cash flowing they are passive and I just realized you know I was pretty much on the verge of having an offer accepted on like a, a rent to rent not too far from from me actually but then yeah I literally was like no you know what I'm not excited about this I don't want to do it what no i i'm leaving my recruitment business to do something i want to do why am i doing this you know if i'm not passionate if i wasn't excited there and then i just thought oh, whatever i'll just you know I'll, i'll just keep going save money build it up and get started later or i'll do another business i just thought look i'm not passionate about it i'm not doing it so you know if you want to quit your job if you need cash flow quickly and you haven't got that much money great strategy absolutely it's great like it really is and you get a lot of experience from it um but yeah it wasn't for me it just didn't suit my goals what about you why don't you do rent to rent fully i see it as um like like I, i did a video where i show how you can use it and how we're using it so we use it for like paying uh, our uh, our accountant Uh, our investor uh, interest mm. and like unforeseen costs and and if of course if there's more money left we can use that to purchase a uh, asset so that's how we use we don't use it as a build a bit business around it and then you know because end of the day you don't own anything you're just controlling it mm. and if if you have a really bad landlord he maybe might take the property from you when you have done it so nicely and all of these tenants are in there you know so that that's how we see it i well what's your take on people that are building a whole rent to rent business and don't have assets do you i mean a lot of got got hit of it now during covid and when i think bust. obviously you miss out on capital appreciation yeah uh but if it's a kind of i think there's just if it's a temporary strategy for x many years yeah it makes sense i mean some people are building up a portfolio to sell it so i know you don't you know own the asset yeah. but i mean neither does airbnb neither does uber but they yeah. control them so an airbnb and uber are worth a shitload of money yeah it's the same thing with rent to rent you know you can say look i've got these five-year contracts in place The land landlord landlady has said they potentially will increase afterwards. Here's the profit for five years. Here's your investment. Here's the return on your investment. Uh, you know, after five years, obviously it's on you to carry on negotiate. Blah blah blah. Uh, here's the you know previous track record of it. You know, someone will buy it because, yeah. especially if there's management in place. So yeah, I think it's a smart 
thing. Um, are there going to be as many buyers as a, you know, as you just selling off your individual properties from a portfolio? Probably not. No. But, I mean, it makes money. It works. If you can recoup your initial investment and after that you're just cash flowing, why not? You know, whether your portfolio is 10 or 20 or 50, yeah. you're making money. And so, yeah, I, I don't really have any strong thoughts on it. You know, again, if that's what people, if that's what matches people's goals and times and vision, then that's what it is. Yeah.